Hello beautiful people, thank you for joining me today. Today I have with me Lisa Eldridge Lip Products. I have five True Velvet Matte Lipsticks, one luxuriously loosened lip colour, as well as an insanely saturated lip colour. Two lip glosses and two enhanced and defined lip pencils. In fact, I'm wearing one of the lipsticks and lip liners right now. Are you able to tell which one it is? At the end of the video, I'll share which lip colour I'm wearing, my favourite lip colour of all, as well as my review and thoughts of the lip products. So let's start.
Did you manage to guess what's on my lip? It's Velvet Intrigue with Velvet Affair Lip Pencil. When I saw Lisa Eldridge review this lipstick on her YouTube channel, I was concerned that it might be too light for my skin tone. But when she recommended it to be applied with the Affair Lip Pencil, my curiosity got the better of me and I wanted to try it out for myself as well to see how it goes on my lip because I thought perhaps this colour can go with a deeper eye look as well. I'm pleasantly surprised that the colour is deeper than how I thought it would turn out. So let's start with some swatches. Velvet Intrigue with the Velvet Affair Lip Pencil Velvet Fawn Velvet Muse Velvet Muse Lip Pencil The Velvet Muse Gloss Velvet Affair The Velvet Affair Pencil The luxuriously loosened lip colour in Rose Official. Just one swipe of the lip colour. And this is supposed to be a buildable colour. And finally, in my collection, I have Skyscraper Rose from the Insanely Saturated Lip Colour line. This was actually released for the Summer Pink collection. So it's not available on the website now. When I saw this colour, on all the models, it looks so striking and beautiful in all of them that I just had to get it for myself because I was so curious. So let's do a swatch. And it really brightens up the complexion. But as to whether I wear it at full opacity, it's a little bit too bright, so I'd rather just blot it down a little for my comfort level. But it's still a nice and fun colour to have in my collection. And the last lip product I have is the Gloss Embrace in the colour Go Lightly. There are little flecks of very fine shimmer in this gloss. And what I like about the Gloss Embrace is that it really does feel very nourishing on the lips. In fact, this gloss formula is one of my favourite in my collection of glosses that I have. And now to share about the two velvet lipsticks. For the colour that I'm wearing on my lips called the Velvet Intrigue, it is the lightest colour in her collection. For the lighter colours in the Velvet Matte formula, I must say it really performs quite well. It goes on smoothly and gives full coverage on the lips. There is no patchiness or my own lip colour peeking through. As for the formulation of the True Velvet Matte Lipsticks, I do find them quite comfortable on the lips with a nice creamy feel. It's not so creamy until it feels that it's going to slip off the lips. It will wear down too easily. And by blotting the tissue, not too much colour is transferred out. This shows that this lipstick has quite a long-lasting formula as well. The reason I like Velvet Muse is because I like the deeper shade that still looks natural on my lips. And it can pair with a natural eye look without any makeup or with a deeper eye makeup look as well. As for the formula wise, my favourite formula has got to be the luxuriously loosened lip colour. It feels like a solid balm on my lips and the comfort that is felt when I'm applying the lip colour as well as when it's on the lips makes it very suitable for use during the colder and drier months or when our lips are feeling dry. As for the pencils, they are really long-lasting and they do need an oil-based remover to be removed. These lip pencils come in a variety of beautiful shades, from natural to bright, and they are a joy to put on, creamy, and when they're set, they are waterproof and last the whole day. My thoughts about the formula as to whether I feel there's any difference in the previous release compared to the latest release in the formula and feel. I feel that the True Velvet lipsticks are firmer as well as the pencils itself. That is another positive point. What I like about the brand is the quality, the attention to detail, the care, the colour, the formulation, the textures, as well as the customer care that is felt when we reach out to customer service. My thoughts for this brand is that it lives up to its luxury name and it's a nice treat to give ourselves on special occasions. If you've enjoyed this video, do give it a thumbs up and if you'd like to join me for future videos, do consider subscribing. I would love to have you join me again in my next video. Stay beautiful. Bye!